Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper here with Amber Howell. Have you gotten used to it yet? It's a little you jarring. Still hesitate? Yeah, I still hesitate a little bit because I have to remember like, you know, you have a name for 25 years and then all of a sudden it just changes in the, you know, a split second. Have you, you used to it? Have you been anywhere where Cody said, this is my wife? We... Not I remember together. I remember doing that. I, you know, after we Terry and I got married, I remember we went somewhere and I said, This is about uh my my my, my, my wife, uh -huh. Terry. And it was like, Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we were on our honeymoon and I think I was speaking to a waiter about something at the luau that we went to mm -hmm. and I said, Okay, my husband will be back up here to get something Ooh. later and I was like, That sounded interesting. Well we've never <laughs> been together. And one of us has said, my wife or my husband. So, still have that to look forward to. <laughs> when it happens, it'll be right here on Tell All Tuesday. Right here. I've Talk got a question it. for okay. you I'm ready. for Tell All Tuesday. Because oh I, I was thinking about your likes and dislikes. <laughs> of the two. Okay. Of the two, who is your favorite? Taylor Swift. Or Billie Eilish. I'm gonna go with Taylor Swift. I knew you were. I knew you were. But you were so devoted to Billie and Eilish. I still am, but Taylor Swift is like my girl. Like I grew up with Taylor Swift. Okay, like she's like the OG. Like you know, you know what I mean. I but you know I would pick Billie Eilish for me because <laughs> I think I think her songwriting is much more in depth than Taylor Swift. Have you listened to Taylor's recent albums? Like Evermore and Folklore? Have you listened to Ma those? I'm basing that on a lot of her earlier stuff. Okay. Her I know writing, she tells stories. It's evolved. I, I, go ahead. But Billie Eilish to me is just, I mean, you can just sit there and listen to hers. I've, I've listened to mm -hmm. some. And you have to do such interpretation. I agree. I'm not going to argue with that at all because I love Billie Eilish. I love Billie. I love Taylor. Love but Justin. when we first started, it was Billie, 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 oh, yeah. Billie. But that's also because and now Taylor, it's Taylor, 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 Taylor. At the time we started, wasn't Billie on tour? And I went to see her. You remember? went. To, you went to see Billie Eilish. And then, and then there was that movie documentary. Yes, that's what it was. That came out in twenty one. I then saw she Billie won the Oscar. She won the Oscar for Skyfall. Um, uh, no time to die. No time to die. Yeah. Um, and now Taylor's on tour, and I went and saw Taylor. I you you've seen Taylor in concert and know her music much better than me, but it's like. Taylor has become too overproduced for me. You think? Yeah. I, I, okay, hear me out. Okay, I'm here. I that's, why I, that's why I brought up the topic, because <laughs> it's your topic. I will die on this hill. Anybody of any age, who, any liker of different genres of music, whatever, you can go to a Taylor Swift concert and enjoy it. It is the best show I have ever seen in my life and that was for the reputation tour in 2018 and also for the heiress tour this past year i mean just exceptional production uh, surprise elements uh just like just everybody gets the full experience it's amazing well i have to say this I, you know just watching t television in general the morning shows you know different things of a host who have been to see the taylor swift have been unanimous and raving. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not just, yeah, that's a really good tour, uh -huh. a really good concert. It's like, this was the most exciting thing I, I mean, ever really, did. Because, you know, you have some performers, like my, my mom always talks about how, like, she went and saw George Strait, I think that's who it was, and all he did was play the guitar and move from one side of the stage to the other. <laughs> like, he might be a good singer, and he might have some really good hits, but Taylor like Swift, he's a she's a singer, and she's a entertainer. She's an entertainer. But... Billy's not on tour. hadn't hadn't been on tour in ages. It seems she like she went. So she was on tour last year. Why is she? Yeah, because that's when I saw her. Remember? Oh gosh, I thought it was for that. Um, Time flies. It does. Time. I can hardly keep it straight. Um, she was on tour. I think the all of twenty twenty two or until like the fall of last mm -hmm. year. I think. So. Yeah, but, but she now, hasn't put out new. But music now it was her. 
her performance in concert as major an event as as Taylor's? No, it was not as no. the production was not as it was not on Taylor Swift's level. She did have some good production elements to her show, but it wasn't like Taylor's. Like you just have to see Taylor's to understand. Like it's like at one point in the Taylor Swift concert. There were literal balls of fire. I remember you telling me that, that it just Shooting. shot out from the stage. I mean, everybody, they had to blast cool air through the arena after that because it made us sweat. Like, it was, I mean, it was insane. It was insane. Um, now, you're, you're gonna get who, me is, on who is left? My granddaughter, Jenna, uh -huh. and my son, Sean, went to Atlanta last week to uh -huh. see Noah Canto. Not familiar. He said he's more. I was asking Sean about it. They loved it. Uh huh. And he's more folk, folk. singer. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's kind of like James Taylor. Mm -hmm. He said, I never heard of him. And then our friend, mm -hmm. Jake Wynn. Remember yes, him? Yes, I remember Jake. Jake Wynn. Jake is still making Playing. videos yeah. and singing. He's got a great voice. Have still. we checked in on him recently? Have you checked in with him? He, he sent, I, I wrote him because he sent. He didn't see it. He posted a video. Okay. And he was covering a Noah Canto ah, song. Ah, okay. And I wrote him and said, I didn't even tell my granddaughter just went to one of his concerts. I didn't even know who this guy was. Uh-huh. And it was called, the song was called Messed Up. I'll have to take a listen. Yeah. No, what is it? Noah Canto, I think. Okay, I'm going to Probably got his name all wrong. I'll find him. Don't worry. But Jake is covering his song, so he must be big. Yeah. Because... Jake, our friend, <laughs> and he's still. Other subject. This, okay. this is more my subject. All right. Because I was sitting down. There are two shows on right now. Okay. One is called Master Chef. Okay, I've heard of it. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon mm -hmm. Ramsay. You know, he has a trillion shows, and it's on Wednesday night, and, he, and it's on from eight to nine. And this year they've got five chefs that they've picked from the. Northeast, five chefs from the West, five chefs from the South, and five chefs from another area. Okay. Um, and they're all competing, 20 people, and they're competing to be master chef. And okay. they get a job with Gordon Ramsay oh. at his hotel in Las Vegas or something like that. Okay. And they, every, every week they have to prepare a dish and then one person gets eliminated. And you just love it, don't you? I love it. I can just see it. I just face. love it, love it. And I'm sitting there and they're and they're just fixing all these food and I'm thinking, I can do that. <laughs> and Are you a cook? Do you no. Know? Yeah, no, I I'm an eater. Were. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You you do the eating. <laughs> but I you, I love food shows so much. You would think that I could cook. Yeah. I watch baking uh, videos all the time about decorating cakes and stuff and I think that I can do it but the second I try I know that it'll be a really big fail. Is that how you I feel? I yes. <laughs> I mean I, I can do spaghetti. Yeah. And hamburgers. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Cody's um, the cook. Yeah. Cody, Cody the cook. Yeah. But I just I'm fascinated and then the other one is called Gordon Ramsay's next food star. Oh, it's, Gor it's two Gordon Ramsay two shows. Two Gordon Ramsay shows. <laughs> and then he has these people. They start off with like 15 people there, I guess. But they not only have to cook, they he wants to invest in their businesses. So they have to show their entrepreneur skills. Kind of like Shark Tank. Kind of really like, kinda except it. like last, when I, the last one I watched, they were in Arizona and they had to, these people came out and they had to have like an activity. One one group took people fishing, another one did the hatchet throw. Uh -huh. And then they and they, and they had to be charming and you know entertain them uh -huh. and, and make a good presentation and keep them happy. And then they went back and the other half of the group had cooked a meal for them. Okay. Very elaborate. Uh, and they're so cutthroat. <laughs> I mean, they just. This one woman just got thrown under the bus last night. Bus just went boom, 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 boom. But because she wasn't, she wasn't cooperative. She wasn't a, a team a team player. player. But I, then I watched those two. I watched Beat Bobby Flay. Okay. 
You know who Bobby Flay is? No. He is the guy. You don't know what you're missing. And then I watched. <laughs> then I watched Chopped. What is with it with these cooking shows? I didn't know that you watched cooking shows. Yes. That's nice I, to me. I, th those are in my library. We have been friends for two and a half years, and I had no idea that Jackie loved cooking shows. I didn't know you watched baking shows. Yeah, all the time. Videos. Videos. Yeah. Listen, the other day when I was... <laughs> Oh boy. When I was going to have to do my Zoom interview by myself, I actually sat down and got a YouTube instruction video on how to do a Zoom interview. So you Googled it and you yes. watched the video? Yes. That, what did I say that one time? YouTube University? You told University? me. You said, you, said, you said, Google it. Google it. Find YouTube the YouTube University. video. And I mean, it went step by step mm -hmm. by step by step. It's amazing what technology can do these days. It's just the whole... The whole thing. The whole thing. My, I think I've got. I'm being drug into the new technology. Okay. Do you know what that is? Uh, does it find your keys, or does it find your phone? It finds your keys. Okay. I can go on my phone. <laughs> I can go on my yeah. phone and say, "Find my keys," mm -hmm. and it and starts it giving me errors. Cody no. needs that. I'm Cody serious. Keys, like every day. This is. Techno uh, uh, what was bad was he gave it, it was in a little bag. Uh -huh. And he said, here's your Father's Day present, Dad. Uh -huh. and, I, and I opened up and I said, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue. Yeah. Honestly, it would have taken me a minute if I opened that. I would have probably been like, mm, what does this go on? See? You know? But it's, you know, we've got a new alarm system. It's on our phone. Mm -hmm. We've got, a, we now are YouTube TVers. Mm -hmm. All that. Got all this new technology. All this technology, house. and I still can't figure it out. Can't figure it out. And that's fine. You learn over time. Well, you're okay. you're adept to that, though. Yeah, I grew up in it, so I just <laughs> I just know by default everything. <laughs> and I was chipping the rocks trying to send a message. All right. Oh my gosh. But that was I had a question for you, and then something that I wanted to yep. talk about. Yeah. I share. It was fun. I'm a sharer. You're a sharer. Hi, right, this has been Jackie K. Cooper with Amber Howell.